Welcome back everybody. It's Bruno here doing my BB Can 6 week 5 recap. I hope you've been enjoying all the videos so far. I've really uh, been enjoying making them and just showing you guys how I see the game just from a viewer's perspective um, and just from the experiences I have from being inside the house. Again, I'm not watching the live feeds whatsoever, so I am just going by what I see on the edited show and I'm kind of trying to piece it all together and I can kind of figure out who production's pushing uh, compared to what's really going on and um, you know it's just for me I can tell that kind of stuff just from being in the house and you know watching my seasons after and seeing how they portrayed certain characters and uh, just what they choose to show and whatnot anyway that being said uh, let's get to it so we start off the episode by by Big Brother kind of recapping what happened during the break and how they kind of plan to get hams on the block Olivia wins uh, Ryan wins the veto uses it and they all talk about, okay, let's put hams up. And you see people all agreeing will, and everyone's kind of agreeing like, yeah, hamza, hamza, let's do it. So it wasn't really a surprise um, to the house guests. I mean, uh, they knew what was coming. And uh, you know what? I think for people's game, it was a good move. I think for the show as a whole, it's going to hurt the season. Because let's be honest, there's not a lot of entertaining players in that house. And it's it's kind of hard to watch at times. So having someone like Veronica and Hamza both leaving uh, in the same week is just a huge dagger in the show because uh, we're stuck with a lot of just you know plain characters, which you know it's it's not a bad thing for them, but it's just horrible uh, for the viewers. So um, anyway, we see them kind of scramble and they decide, yeah, we're gonna get rid of Hamza, and that's what they do. We also see Alejandra get kind of pissed at Olivia for listening to Johnny over her. And I've said it in my last video, I was kind of surprised that Olivia kind of chose Johnny over Alejandra because I thought they were supposed to be tight. Her and Alejandra were supposed to be really tight. And she told Alejandra one thing, she told Erica the same thing. And then when Johnny came in, uh, I guess Johnny kind of thought she was going to put him on the block when she said, listen, I'm sorry. And he kind of freaks out and kind of grabs her hands and he's like, he's like, don't you dare do this, da da da. And he's really pushing to protect Maddie as well. So she, Olivia goes with Johnny and I was kind of surprised. So Alejandra wasn't too happy about that. And she kind of tells uh, Olivia, you know like what the hell is this kind of thing and it really surprised me but um all in all it looked like it didn't really harm the relationship too much they seem to be getting along now and uh you know that's that okay so now on to the hoh competition so there's a little task they have or they're all getting a party and they get to drink and get drunk and all that stuff listen guys i will tell you firsthand don't get drunk in the house it's you know i know it sounds like oh you gotta have a good time and relax listen you're there to do a job do the job stay focused marin actually had the right idea by you know giving the drinks away and all stuff i used to do the same thing i would always give my drinks away because you know people loosen up a little bit and they start talking and that's exactly what happened so olivia spills to maddie after she's had a few drinks that her team actually wanted her to put maddie on the block this is why you don't drink you have a few drinks, you loosen up, you kind of talk a little bit, you're speaking, you know, saying things you're not supposed to say. So my tip to you guys, if you ever go in this house, do not drink, give your drinks away, get somebody really drunk that you want to talk to and open up and see where their head's at. Let them drink, let them spill it out for you. And Mer like I said, Merritt had the right idea. It's just a shame that this guy is just brutal at competitions. I Listen, I'm sure Merritt is a great, great, great guy. I can't wait to meet him, hang out with him, talk to him. I'm sure we'll be buddies, 100%. But guys, listen, he I'm sorry to say, but he was a flop of a cast. Uh, he had no game. He had no social skills. He had no nothing. He was just... He was like a piece of furniture in the house. And it's a shame, you know. Um, I have met Mikey. And, you know, now that I met Mikey and I talked to him and, and, and all that stuff, he would have actually been really good for the season. And it's a shame that he didn't get in. And I had a lot of high hopes for Marin. I actually wanted Marin to get into the house. But, you know, then you see him go in and he just kind of blends in. And he's like a piece of furniture. He's like just another couch in the house. And it's just a shame, you know. I, I really wish he... He, like he had the tools to be very social and all that stuff. He's a social guy, but man, he was bad. It was just hard to even watch him try to play. Uh, he was bad at the competitions. Uh, just, just so, I don't know. He was just totally just on an island of his own. And it's a shame. So, uh, you know, he had the right idea, though, about kind of giving the drinks, pretending to be drunk. But man, the guy still goes out on the first question of the competition. Like, come on, man. You know, just horrible, horrible gameplay. Um, 
But anyway, I, like I said, I, I'm sure we're going to be very good friends out of the house. And this is, when I do these videos, I just talk about the game. I, this is nothing personal. Uh, you know, I can't wait to meet these people and, and talk and all that stuff. It's just, I'm going by what I see on the show and, and that's it. But once everything's said and done, you know, we're all going to hang out and everything's cool. But Marin, man, horrible, dude. <laughs> horrible. Okay, so now we get into the HOH competition. Now I'll tell you, Big Brother kind of sets the tone of how people are supposed to be acting and stuff when uh, Olivia's reading her, her chart on her script on what to say for the competition. So they're playing it up a bit for sure. But at the same time, they're pretty hungover. They were drinking the night before. I'm sure part of it's legit, but I'm sure they're playing it up to the cameras quite a bit. Um, anyway, so here's the competition. It's about last night, the night before. And Erica says she wants to throw the competition. Guys, I'm gonna say something here, okay? The, the DRs for the competitions happen the day after, two days after, three days after. They're still talking about the competition and the DRs because the show needs the footage. So for Erica, when Erica and everybody else that's doing these DRs, they already know who won the HOH. So for Erica to go in, she could be like, oh, I wasn't trying to win. I just, no, at the moment she was trying to win. If she didn't want to win, she would have thrown it a lot earlier. She wouldn't go 15 questions in or whatever the hell it was, 10 questions in, whatever it was. So, you know, it's, it's so, and I say this over and over, it's so easy for these people to go in the DR and talk about the competitions because they already know who won. So they can say whatever they want. They can say, eh, I was trying to throw it, or I really did throw it, or eh, I need to win this one, or whatever they want to say because they already have the answer. They know what's happened. So the DR is about the competitions, just, they're, they're so pointless. And uh, so anyway, Erica says she wants to throw it. Maybe she did, I don't know, but she wins another HOH and this girl's gotta really dial it back because people are noticing it. Like there's only been like maybe four people that have won competitions in five weeks of the show. That's crazy. So, you know, I think it's gonna be one of those things where they're gonna be like, hey, we have to take this shot at Erica. We can't miss uh, in a week where she doesn't win HOH. It's just, she's going too hard, too fast. Uh, she's seen as a big threat. And she's probably one of the maybe two players that are actually playing this season. And I'm going to say it's Erica and Johnny. And I think they look a lot better than they are. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm saying they're going to look a lot better than they are because of the people they're playing against. They're really not playing against anybody, to be honest. If you look at the cast, who's in that house, who's playing the game? It's just, I don't know. Uh, the, the cast this year is just... The show is just, it's a different vibe. It's a weird vibe. I don't know if it's the editing, the production side. I don't know what it is, but I'm just, I'm, I'm confused myself when I'm watching the show. It just seems really weird to me and really off. So um, I'm not watching the feeds again, like I said, so I could be missing a lot. But from what I'm seeing on the show, it's just, there's, it just doesn't answer anything. And I feel like the, the, the things they're showing are just pointless. Like when they're showing the uh, clip about Kayla, Olivia, and Alejandro talking about how, how oh they're so thirsty come on guys like do you really do we really need to see a three minute section about uh, about how they just want to get laid like who really cares you know what i mean like there's so much going on in that house they have so many days so many hours to get the right footage and they put like a three minute clip of them talking about how they want to get laid come on you know it's just this, the, the big brother is just of today is just so different and it's a shame because you know people like my, myself i watch I watch the show for the game and to see people kind of work their way through everybody to get to the end. And I know there's a lot of people out there that, that want the same. And by talking to talking to a lot of fans and, and, and alum and everybody from the Americans and every, they're saying they're missing the mark. This show is hard to watch this year because the things they're showing. And it's too bad because it's such a good format. We have such a good uh, show. And I just feel like they're just letting us down. And it's not the cast. I feel like it's just... What they're putting together and putting on the show is just letting us all down. So it's a shame. Okay, so Erica nominates Marin and Ryan. Now here's the thing. They're not crazy out there nominations. Uh, it's a pretty safe nomination. But here's the thing, okay? It's kind of smart for her to do that because who's going to get rid of Marin? He's one of those players in there that everyone kind of says like, ah, we can get him next week, we can get him next week, we can get him next week. The problem with those players is next week comes. Next week comes, next week comes, next thing you know, they're at finale at final two, you're sitting in jury and guess who's still there? It's the guy that you could have got rid of next week. So for her to take, put him up and take him out, it's kind of a good move because no one else is gonna do it. People say it's a waste of an HOH, but somebody has to do it. And I think she did okay. I don't think that it's gonna hurt her game uh, to put them up and take them out, to take Marin out. And uh, again, it wasn't a, a big move, but I think it was a good move uh, for everybody, not just her, because who really was going to take out 
Marin uh, because there's just so many bigger fish to fry in the house that who's really going to take the shot. So everyone has to go eventually and this was Marin's week and uh, you know what I think it was a good move. Okay so now Marin's on the block and Paris has the right idea. You know, because here's the thing, when people go on the block in the house, I'll tell you firsthand, for some reason, people avoid them. So as soon as people get, as soon as two players get nominated, people avoid them like the plague. I don't know why, it just is. So Paris has the right idea to go and talk to him and say, hey, listen, like, you are good for me. You could be a number for me. And she can use him to take the shots at the people she wants to take the shots at. The problem is this guy can't win a competition even to save his life. So it's going to be kind of hard to use him to take the shots if, I mean, the guy can never load his gun. So it's too bad. Uh, but she has the right idea. Paris had the right idea. And I like that she had that kind of, you know, the thought process to go talk to him and say, hey, I'll work with you. I could use you. You could use me. Let's work together kind of thing. I just, uh, it's a shame that, you know, it's Marin and not someone else that she could use to actually win competitions. And it's the right idea, just the wrong person to do it with. Okay, so now we find out that Ryan was telling people that Ali called either Paris or Maddie a little bitch or something. I don't remember who it was. Uh, and Ali gets all freaked out and she's starting to get pissed off. So she runs into the HOH room and she goes to Erica Mel. She's like, I have to call Ryan out. Now, here's the thing. You want to hear that in the house. So right away, Erica and Will are like, yep, let's go. And that's the right thing because you want people to fight with each other. So it takes the target off of you. So as soon as, you know, Ali comes in and she says, I'm going to call Ryan out. Will and Erica are like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. I want, let's go. Because it's good for them. It kind of puts another fight in front of them, another feud and another two people going head to head before them. So they're like, yeah, let's go. So they go and sit down. They have another, I guess, house meeting, I guess you want to call it. And Ali and Ryan are kind of, you know, yelling at each other, whatever. But I'll tell you something. I think Ryan handled it a lot better. Uh, he was very calm and he was like, yeah, you did say it. And I don't think you would have called a man a bitch. I think you called it to her. And Ali starts kind of like freaking out, yelling. She gets up and storms out. That kind of looks worse on her and better on Ryan. So I, I don't know. I, I didn't watch the feeds. But to me, I looked like it looked like Ryan came out on top that one again and you know after the first house meeting of the season I felt he came out on top again so you know to these house guests for the future do not call a house meeting and call Ryan out because you know what he tends to thrive in this situation somehow I don't know but the, the first house meeting was about Ryan he came out looking better and this I guess you want to call it a house meeting I don't know what you want to call it uh, was about Ryan again and to me anyway he came out on top again Okay, so now we find out, they don't put it on the show, but uh, I was talking, I do a podcast with Evil Dick every week, and you know, I found out that um, Marin actually started eating, he was on Slop this week, and I guess he knew he was going out or whatever, so he started eating cookies and food and stuff like that. Now here's the thing, guys, don't disrespect the game. Um, yeah, you're going out, you know, at least go out the way you're supposed to. I get it, you know, the guy's like, whatever, I'm done, I don't care, I'm gonna eat, and you're hungry. I've been on Slop, and it sucks. I promise you, you don't want to be on slop. Um, it's not enough. I was losing weight in there like crazy. My clothes weren't fitting me anymore. I guess that's a good thing, you know, in a way, but it's bad. You can't eat it. And you know, I was lightheaded all the time. You just, you're drained, you're tired. You don't want to talk. Anyway, I get it. I get what he was doing, but you know what? Just wait till you're evicted. It's another day or whatever. And then you can eat whatever you want. You're out of the house. You can do whatever the hell you want. So I don't know the kind of, the fact that he kind of ate the cookie, you know, it's kind of a slap in the face of the show and just show some respect you know um for the show so i didn't like that too much but whatever it's not a big big deal he gets evicted anyway but it would have been funny to see what happens if he stayed would he be on slop for another week would the whole house be on slop who knows but anyway he's evicted so it's not a big deal he goes home and that's it but for the future house guests just respect the process respect the house respect the rules respect big brother while you're there and you know that's just the way it should be okay so Marin gets evicted five to three but the funny thing is, there's no jury yet. Usually by this week, this is the week of jury. So there's a couple of things that they could be doing. They could be doing a seven person jury instead of a nine. It is cheaper for them. Uh, they don't have to rent the um, jury house for an extra couple of weeks, the food and all that stuff. It's cheaper for them. It could be just because they like the seven player jury better. It could be uh, Canada voting. Who knows? I, I don't have the answer. Um, you know, this is Canada's season. They say the fans brought it back. Maybe they'll make the fans 
vote for the winner. Who knows? But um, I think it could be like a seven-person jury, maybe even a six-person jury, and then Canada has a seventh vote. Who knows? But they're definitely doing something different. They haven't even hinted at jury yet. So, uh, you know, they're obviously, they know what they're doing and they want to talk about it. So who knows? I mean, a nine-person jury is big. Uh, for sure. So a seven person jury works or maybe they're doing Canada's vote. I don't know, but uh, maybe we'll find out this week. Okay. So now we find out there's this big twist coming into play next week. And here's the thing, you know, I got boned on season three by a twist kind of similar to this. And you know what? I, I take me even out of that. That never happened to me. It never happened in season three. I still don't like this twist. Here's the thing. Okay. In Big Brother, the house guests are confined in a house and they have no outside contact or contact with the outside world, okay? There should be no contact from the outside world on the inside. There should be no influence going out and there should be no influence going in. So the fact that, you know, Canada can save a nominee or whatever this twist is, I believe it's they have the option to save someone this week. If it doesn't go this week, it's so they can save them next week. I'm going to tell you a little something. That's production's way to save your favorites from the game and I just, you know, I don't like that. I don't like that because it just defeats the, the purpose of the game. Why even play when you can't even take the shots you want to shoot? It just makes no sense to me. So let's just put it, let's just put a little scenario here, okay? So whoever wins HOH, let's just say they put Erica on the block. Finally, they're like, yes, I can finally take this shot at Erica and get her out of the house. She's a beast. And it's a big move because she can win competitions. So if they get her out this week, or if say they miss their shot this week, Eric can easily come back and take them out. I don't like that. So it also, it just, it just cancels that person's HOH. Say your target is Erica and Canada saves her, then what was the point of your HOH? It was just useless and pointless. So I really, really, really don't like these twists. Um, you know, and, and it's a shame because it, these people are playing hard every day. You know, it's a game in there. We're watching it at home. We go to work. We go do whatever fun things. We go to dinners, do whatever we want to do. And then we get to sit on our couch and watch it for an hour. We critique it and blah, blah, blah. And then we go on with our day. These people don't go on with their day. Day. they don't have a break they're playing big brother 24 hours a day so they're trying to make calculated moves and finally when they get to take their shot and it gets taken away by say a vote from canada it really 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 sucks so i just you know uh I, i'm not a fan of these twists i never have been and never will be my motto and my theory is let the players play just let them play put them in the house and let them play if you have to throw on these twists in the house to make the show watchable and enjoyable, you're not casting properly. You should be casting the right people for the show and let them entertain the crowd. If you've got to throw all these wrenches in, you're not doing your job and you're not letting them do their job. So that's just my take on it. Um, you know, the twists are a part of the game now, sad as it is, it is a part of the game. And I, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a long time, or maybe we never will ever see the real big brother game as it used to be that everyone loves and that they got hooked on the show in the first place. I, I feel like that those days of Big Brother are long gone and it's more just about gimmicks and stuff now, which which is really a shame, but that's the way it is. And you know, it's it's a, it really is a shame. But anyway, that's that's the twist. Um, and anyway, that's my recap. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I really, I'm really having fun with them. Uh, again, like I've said, I do not watch the feeds at all. So my take on all of this can be completely off because I'm only going from what I'm seeing and then just from my perception of playing and kind of seeing what they're doing, what the footage they're getting and who they're kind of pushing and, and all that stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah. So anyway, another thing too, we're week five and there's still half the house that we don't even see them on TV. We have no idea what their games are like. Uh, for me anyway, if you're watching the feeds, you obviously have a better idea, but that's that. So anyway, guys hit that sub button, hit that like button, leave comments. If you have any questions or, you know, if, if something I'm saying isn't right, let me know, put it down. I'd, I'd love to hear it. So, uh, you know, yeah, definitely, uh, communicate back and forth. Anyway, guys, I, I will be doing more giveaways. I'm not done yet.